Hello, you're most welcome to a new edition of Done. I'm David Stjernholm and this episode is about how to acquire new knowledge quickly. But first, in my award-winning book, Superstructured, How to Overcome Chaos and Win Back Time, I show you how to enhance structure at work through organization, automation and focus. I share useful advice and tips mixed with practical exercises in 31 simple steps that can be taken on consecutive days or weeks. Read all about the book and order your copy at superstructured.com. Do you also tend to forget things you have just learned? Someone shows you how to perform a task you have just been made responsible for and in that moment it is so obvious how to do it. But the first time you are about to perform it yourself, you hesitate. How was it supposed to be done? You cannot remember. Does this situation sound familiar as well? You are going to do something that is very complicated and you cannot remember exactly how you used to do it. But when you have twisted and turned it around for a while, you remember and everything comes into place. That's right, this was it. But the next time you're about to do it, you seem to have forgotten all about what just recently felt was the most obvious solution. Or maybe you can identify with this situation. Your boss has reassigned you and you look forward to delving into the new exciting assignments you have been made responsible for. But first, you have to teach the one who is taking over the old tasks how these are best done. You schedule a sit-down and go through everything. But the colleague still comes by the day after and asks, Sorry, can you remind me how I was supposed to do it? Can you just show me one more time? If you are familiar with Lean and well-versed in the tools used in that particular field to make work more simple and effective, you will also be familiar with the so-called OPLs, which stands for One Point Lessons. These are simple and short descriptions of how something works or is done, and they teach you how to perform a single step of a process or how to do a whole task. Let me emphasize that an OPL is simple, both regarding how it is structured and how to make it. Traditionally, the lesson has to fit on a single sheet of paper, a physical paper or its digital equivalent. It should not be too complicated. It has to be possible to put it together in 15 minutes tops, and it should not take more than 10 minutes to go through with the person you are teaching. The lesson can be written and or illustrated with the pictures. It can consist of a sketch that explains how it is done, or a print screen that you have drawn arrows and circle things on. The whole point is to quickly and easily show how something is done and that the lesson is so simple to make that there is no reason to postpone making it and think, "Mm, I'll do it later, and thus miss out on its simplifying properties for a needlessly long period of time. Try this. If you can relate to the examples I just mentioned or are attracted by the simple brilliance of one-point lessons, do this. First, think of a single step of a process or task for which making a lesson out of it would make your life easier. Is there something your colleagues should know how to do that is not that hard but which only you know how it is done? Make up your mind to create a one-point lesson before the end of the day. It will not take more than a few minutes. You could, for instance, do it right after lunch so that it will not interrupt your workflow in the morning or during the afternoon. Then, create the lesson in a simple manner so that you will be able to finish it in 15 minutes. It may not be pretty or perfect, but just good enough for a colleague of yours, or you if you are making it for yourself, to benefit from it. If you need to, spend another 15 minutes on it later to make it even better. It doesn't have to be perfect, just better than before. Well done. Because if you create simple one-point lessons for those steps or tasks that you and your colleagues need to learn, you will not have to spend unnecessary time again and again to try to learn the same thing over and over. You will be able to spend more time on the important tasks instead. That's what we all want to do, isn't it? Have you already made a couple of OPLs? Send me one, if you want to, and are allowed to. I want to see how you did it, because it inspires me greatly to see how others have solved the little riddles and wrinkles of everyday life. As always, you can send it to david at and you are more than welcome to do so.
If you know someone who would also benefit from making one-point lessons, tell them about it. Or make an OPL to show them. The more people who strive to make their lives and work easier and more structured, the easier and smoother all our workdays will be. Thank you for joining me today and see you again next week. 